So here we have the code I wrote to test and make sure that uh, I was actually looking at the serial output for the coordinator and not the router. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's basically the same except that I've added a delay statement in here of half a second. Um, in order to make the delay uh, viable, uh, I had to put the serial output into a variable, or the input I should say, into a variable, uh, because otherwise if I did the delay and then did the serial read, it would uh, no longer be there because the other, Ar uh, other Arduino is no longer sending it, the router. So anyway, um, you can see the results of this change. Well, first we'll go to uh, serial port 6, which is the router, and you'll see this is, will be the same So we're get, as we had before. So it's still setting the same DePaul CDM every two seconds. Um, but if we go to the serial monitor for port 7, Now we get a split second delay between every letter. And actually, I thought when I made this code that it would um, uh, just delay the printing of the whole line, and I'd be able to tell by these these flashing yellow lights on the Arduino that that light right there it flashes on either board every time it's either sending or receiving data. So my my initial thought was that this would just uh, allow me to um, to uh, watch the difference in those light flashes because in the original setup the lights are flashing almost simultaneously it's impossible for me to tell which is actually going off first but um, something I've learned is that it must uh, every serial write must do a single digit or character at a time I should say and then here's here's an interesting phenomenon when it um, and this must be when it hits the limit of the Arduino's flash memory when this starts happening here. Uh, it's an interesting phenomenon, and uh, I can uh, let's see this is the router right here, so I can unplug this. So it's no longer receiving data over the network, but as you can see, the coordinator is still printing out characters because uh, due to the code, the modified code, it has to work through each letter half a second at a time and it will keep printing out characters until the um, it catches up with how many characters are stored in its memory, which should be any second now. There we go. So uh, just an interesting experimentation. Uh, helping me learn more about the XB uh, and how the network works.